Okay, this girl, wait, 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 has been up forever. She's ready for school. She was up before my normal alarm even went off. Why are you up this early? I got Daisy and Will. <laughs> She's got Daisy daycare this week. Oh, my battery's dead. Hang on. Battery achieved. This girl's quite motivated with this dog. So, I mean, it's a good thing. But, uh, tired. She's been literally like knocking at me. Are you getting up? Are you getting up? Are you getting up? But I didn't want her coming out here alone. So, we're gonna go get Daisy, get her fed, take her for a walk, and then um, go to the bus stop. Okay, Daisy's too excited to eat breakfast. So, we're gonna do a walk, food. and then I'll bring her back. All right. Ashley walked Daisy, took her back home, got her fed, um, we picked up the mail. Can't even show you because it says the names of every single school Kaylee has gotten into. And we're starting the application for scholarship process. Um, oh, I forgot I have the key for <laughs> the dog. I have to go back and I have to be responsible for the dog during the day today. But then the kids are all home tomorrow and they're going to do it. But. I actually just absolutely loves to watch dogs. It's quite cute, but I'm now on regular mom duty, AKA laundry. Where's my purse? I like all my stuff that was in my pockets from coming downstairs. Um, I cannot with these towels, these shop towels. They're like that fibery, oh, I can't. With my dry fingernail, like cuticle beds, mm, I can't touch them. So you can't really even see in here. That light is that light is horrible and yellow but I've got to start with laundry here actually that one is clean laundry that one's clean but I'm on my second load of kids laundry I hate kids laundry <laughs> there's so many pieces to kids laundry and Ashley doesn't quite know how to bring me her bucket so I can't like put stuff in her bucket and it always falls down so I'm going to start this process and get the clean laundry going, but then as soon as I've done that and kind of gotten caught up on like life, if I can get all this done and get some stuff done on my computer for a minute, I need to reply to a ton of comments from you guys. I am going to go upstairs and work through my closet because I noticed something, I've been noticing something with my clothes. It's a good thing. It's just kind of like a hard, weird thing to start to do. I've gone through my closet a couple times in the past six months and like decluttered. And okay, I haven't worn that one in six months. I'm gonna get rid of that one. But like that Maui sweatshirt I had on yesterday is huge on me. I literally bought that in not the biggest size, but the biggest size possible to be able to fit me when I bought that shirt two years ago when we were in Maui and now it is just dragging on me. It's just huge. It makes me look huge, and I'm not. You know, I'm, I'm still whatever, whatever you wanna call it. It just made me feel bigger than I actually am. And while I'm gonna keep my Maui sweatshirt and a few other key like sweatshirts, I don't think there's t-shirts that I have like sentimental value in. I'm gonna declutter because I have lost so much weight. And part of me in the past has always been like, oh, but you might need it later. Well, if I end up gaining this weight back, that's gonna be hard enough as it is. So I would rather, I don't wanna like treat myself to new larger clothes, but at the same time, it's like, I don't want to like feel bad not being able to like, I don't know, it's just, just like a weird game. Like we used to like keep clothes that were smaller, right? That we were like, oh, maybe I'll be able to fit into these later. That never happened, so then your psyche is just like always being beat upon because you can't fit into the clothes that you have. I'm on the reverse, where I wanna get rid of the clothes that are just draping on me, and then I have the chance, kinda when I feel like, okay, I don't have anything to wear because it's all too big, then I get to treat myself with something to go and buy. Like, my jeans are too big on me. I'm constantly having to pull them up, constantly. There's one pair that I'm probably should get rid of. The problem is I only have two pairs of jeans and I really do need to get through this winter season with those two pairs of jeans because it's what I wear when I like go to a nice nights out or whatever <laughs> with my friends like tonight for book club but I don't want to buy new jeans right now because I think I will be able to go down one more size if possibly even two by next fall. 
I'm not gonna buy jeans. So I'm gonna hang on to those two pairs, but I think I'm gonna get rid of so much stuff that is just hanging off me. And the fun thing is, I'm not gonna do it quite yet. I wanna see where I'm at when we do go to Hawaii. There are a lot of shorts that I have. They will not stay up, including my workout shorts. I might be at the point where I have to like get new workout clothes because they're too big, which is a great thing. It's, it's fantastic to have this problem. It's just very strange for me to have this roll, re like this switch in like clothes. So that's what I need to do, but I need to get some stuff done first before I take the time to do that. And if I'm loading up that many bags and stuff, I wanna be able to like put them right into my car and take them straight to Goodwill and not just let them fester because I think I would maybe like go back and take stuff out of them. When I decide to go ahead and donate, I get rid of it quite quick and just get it out of the house. So we're gonna straighten up just a little bit. I should have had Ashley do the dishes, but let me guess. Yep, I might actually have Abby load and unload today because she didn't get hers done in time for Ashley to do hers. Chores, and then we're gonna go up into my closet. Sounds a little risque. <laughs> Come join me. Okay, just restarted replying, or finished replying to all your comments. Part of the problem that I have, <laughs> two things. One, I'm really sore, <laughs> um, but two, it's hard to respond to you guys' comments knowing how things actually played out and that we actually did end up booking and everything works out and stuff. But for the clickbaitiness of YouTube, <laughs> To like need you guys all to believe that like it got canceled we can't go you know but that's how we ended our day like yes that's clickbaity for YouTube but that's legit how we ended our day I don't know if we're gonna be able to go so I'm talking about the video that went up today of we booked our flights we booked the resort then all of a sudden at the end of the day we didn't know what was gonna happen it's hard to like reply to you guys's comments because you get so excited when you see oh we booked our flights to Hawaii keep watching because you'll quickly see we didn't actually like get it to go through well the flights went through anyway <laughs> it's hard to like not want to like just jump on board and start like you know talking all things Maui and stuff with you guys in the comments as of today's current video even though we know our current day it's all worked out and we are actually planning which is another reason why it's hard to get off that computer and get anything done because all I want to do is keep researching and, and looking things up for Hawaii <laughs> that's all I want to spend my time doing I did get paid for another one of my scans today so I think we're getting closer to being able to book our luau I have like a million things in my arms I have Kaylee's college information. The two schools she's gotten into has sent information for scholarships. So I'm gonna go and show that information to her, have her start looking at that stuff online. Like I said, she's home, Abby's home. I have straightened the dishes. I don't do the dishes, so I have children. So Abby needs to come down and unload, and then we can load those dishes. I do have some things to go and do while I'm out and about today. I, I do need to go out. I am going to go to Bath and Body Works. They finally have their, you know, their spring collection. I do not see that it has the Waikiki Beach Coconut, but they do have Fiji Surprise or Sunrise, Fiji Sunrise, and I know it's part of that collection. So I'm, I'm really hoping I can restock up or at least get my free item. We'll get my free item with my coupon, um, but I did get paid from my last scan and Jason needs $5 bills for the store. Well, I'm gonna go up and get my stuff done in the closet and then I'm gonna go and get all these things done. All right, got a little bit freshened up. I'm not doing my hair in twisties today, so I just pulled it back into a little ponytail, put some makeup on my face, but now going into the closet. You guys know I'm an organized person. So that's not the whole intent here. To organize my closet is not necessary. What is necessary is to take out all the clothes that are now too big for me or I truly don't find joy in them and I need to get rid of just for the sake of getting rid of it. I don't know, this is hard because I know, well, maybe I'll find something and I'll give you a good example. Okay, you're just gonna have to ignore that the, the bathroom mirror is really, really dirty. Okay, so look at this. Like, it's just huge. Not necessarily that I filled it out completely before, but it was tighter. And then, so then look at it. It like, maybe I need different pants to show it, but like, it's so big and baggy, it's not attractive. I'm keeping this sweatshirt because it's nice and warm, and I love that it's from Maui, and I love that logo. But it's the only reason why I'm keeping it. If it wasn't, like, sentimental, look at this. It's so big. So, that's what I'm doing. Here's another one. 
I don't have any sentimental attachment to, but like it's just, it's huge. So I used to wear these like to go out and go to Target and just be comfortable and warm, but like I can't. Like it's so big that it just, I, there's no way to like make it not look so big when I'm out and about. And I don't need that many big baggy sweatshirts to hang out in because I, I I like to be warm, but then I just usually tend to go to Target. So I think it's time. So this is where it's hard, is that I still like this sweatshirt, but there's no sentimental value in this. And I just, it's just swampy on me. Like there's no point, I, I would look, I look way bigger. Well, look at this. This is almost for myself, but I want to have side comparison. I'm gonna put the other picture of the other sweatshirt. It's almost for myself to see. I would rather have this and then have a light jacket over it than have a big baggy sweatshirt. Yes, I know that this is still here, but this looks more fitted and more like I've actually lost weight, right? So I need to like move on to this and kind of let go of this because I think this is not helping my mindset that I am losing weight and I am doing a good job. Okay, don't mind that I'm also gathering towels. Not really sure how we go through so many towels, but these pants are actually like, they physically won't even stay up on me. They used to fit. Maybe I should try those on so you can see. Nah, I don't want to. This process needs to go faster. Or I'm not gonna get it done. Those literally like, they won't even stay up. Like I can't even pretend. They literally won't stay up and I'm done having them in the closet. Like we can move on. This, I actually forgot that I had. So that's kind of fun. And yes, even this is too big. It is a nice church dress. So I think I'm gonna keep this one, maybe do one more season in the spring with this one, and then we'll decide next year. Well, this one is really cute. I should not wear pale on pale. <laughs> you can see in the camera where my skin starts and the dress starts. So this one is actually a size 3X. I got this one so that it would fit, not be tight, and now it just looks like a large tent. Ready to get rid of this one. Some things are just hard to keep, but they're also hard to wear. This dress I wore at my mom's funeral. When I looked at the pictures of myself when I got home, I was very large in this dress. And so I have a hard time with it in general because of the funeral. It's the last time I wore it, so almost two years ago. But I also don't have good body images of myself in this dress. So even if I lose weight, I'm still going to think of myself as the larger person in this. So I think I'm going to try it on one more time. And then I think I'm going to let it go so that it's not a negative memory of my mom. I wore this shirt on my trip to Maui with Jason for our 20th anniversary and it's, it's huge. So again, I have sentimental value in it because it was a fun trip with him and I bought this shirt like for that trip, but it's huge, pass it on. I don't know, it's so hard, it's so weird. This is all that I'm getting rid of and that's what's left in my closet. And honestly, there's still some stuff here that I would probably get rid of, but I kind of need to have clothes to wear still. <laughs> like this is actually too big. This one here is actually too big. Same with, that one's probably okay, but this one is too big, but I do like this one for the winter. These ones fit, these sweaters, I have this one here and this one from Costco and they fit. I just wore this one yesterday or the day before yesterday for the first time. I just got that one on Amazon this year or like the end of uh, November not last year. And actually like this dress, while I really, really like it, it's huge on me. I think it's the size 2X or a 3X. It's a 2X, but all of these 2X dresses that I have are too big. So they're technically too big for me. I am looking for ones that are smaller, but I want them to be spring dresses, so I can't even wear them right now. It's too cold. These ones actually might go after this winter. I really like this one. This one might stay, but these ones are just too big. I don't know. I'm still kind of trying to decide on these ones. Actually, no, I'm going to decide. I like this one for when we go to Hawaii, but then when I want to wear it, I'm usually fried as a crispy little lobster and pink on pink is not very cute. <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna get rid of it. It doesn't look good on my figure anyway, but I do like this one for around town during the summer when I'm too hot to like wear shorts, but I still wanna kinda look nice. So I am not gonna go through my shorts right now. I'm gonna give myself, what, two, three months to lose a little bit more weight and then decide what ones I wanna pack for our trip and then what ones, um, like these ones are probably, actually I'm probably just gonna make the executive decision. Although, see this is my thing, is that these ones are too big, 
they're really worn out. You can see the hole in them. But when I'm doing like summer chores, cleaning cars, doing yard work, I'm going to keep those because they actually come in handy to have ones that I don't care about. Um, same with like these ones. These are just sweat shorts that I can wear like in the evenings, like for like pajamas. Um, but I'm not going to do shorts yet. I'm going to give myself a little bit more time. I know that they're actually too big because I've already tried some of them on like this pair right here. I actually had to cinch it up when I put it on. It didn't actually stay up. Um, I think these ones are going to fit nice, but I think I'm going to have to cinch those up, but I am not getting rid of those because I just got those ones and I'm very excited to wear those ones again in Hawaii and they'll look cute. They're a little bit baggy, but they're not like too, too, they're not too oversized. So that feels nice. Um, this is my um, pajama shirt bucket. I only have three left. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. Then this is my sweat pant, pajama pant bucket. I found an extra pair of socks. I whittled this down. I have like my old navy holiday pajama pants down there. I have like two or three different kinds and then just three pairs of sweat pants. But the rest got donated because I don't wear them and they're too large and I'm done with them. If you can believe it, those are all the hangers that I just took off all of those clothes. That's how much I just donated. Like, that's insane. And they're good quality clothes. A lot of them, they're not worn out necessarily, even though they are a couple years old. So I feel good about, like, passing them on to someone who can actually get, like, good use out of it. Someone's going to get a really good summer um, dress. And I feel nice about, like, donating them and letting someone else have a chance at having a new outfit. Maybe they've lost weight and they're now in that size and it'll make them feel special. So we're going to pass this along. Three bagfuls. I have never donated that much of my own stuff and a pile of laundry. <laughs> I'm gonna get this downstairs. I am taking this. I'm gonna take it right away so that I don't keep it, look through it, pull anything else out. I actually have no desire to right now, so that's a good thing. I've been running. to um, Bath and Body Works, the bank, the post office, and I think that's it. I got my freebie. <laughs> I like getting freebies. I'll show you which one I got. I couldn't find anything else that I wanted. Just Fiji Sunrise. Or Sunshine. Fiji Sunshine. Um, they did not have... I don't think that was their full, like, tropical line. I think maybe that's just... Hopefully that's just like a sneak peek at one. They've, they've told me in the past that usually that comes out in February. A little tropical whatever. But usually Fiji is in that tropical line. So I'm really hoping. Anyway, I'm hoping. So I just got myself a little travel size lotion because mine that I have, I have the Waikiki Beach Coconut in a travel size. I probably got this one for free. It's almost out, so um, I'm gonna just go ahead and use it. It's good for um, when we go on our trips and for my purse, but that way I don't have to worry about having the like the ounces. I can just put this one into my makeup bag and it doesn't matter what bag I end up putting that in. I almost don't wanna go home because Kaylee wants to make cinnamon rolls. She just asked me where the yeast was She's gonna make cinnamon rolls. I'm hoping she's doing it with Jacob. She's probably, I don't think it's an assignment. I think she's done with her culinary class final. So I think she just maybe wants to make them, but I kind of don't want to go home because I don't want to like, like I want to let her do it. My nature will be to kind of butt in and try and take over and do it my way. It's my nature. <laughs> I want her to just be able to feel comfortable being in the kitchen and doing it her way. She obviously had to clean up afterward, but I'm gonna let her kind of do it. I don't know what recipe she's getting or if she has one. Um, but, oh, goodness sakes, I was already all the way over there. Oh, I'm such a doofus. Okay, well now I know what I'm going to do. I literally was in within a block of a stupid Goodwill, like we call it Value Village. It's just a small local one. I was literally right there, <laughs> right there, and I didn't go take all my bags and drop them off. So that's 
I was like, what am I missing? And I even have my little sticky note right here and it just doesn't have go to Goodwill on it. And that's why I was like, what am I missing? I've done everything on my list, except for Marshall's. I still have these stupid dang boots of Ashley's to return, but I kind of don't want to go to Marshall's because I don't want to spend money. I don't want to spend money. So I'm just trying to stay away from the store for right now. I will go there when I absolutely have to go there. No one needs to go to Marshall's. They want to. You guys, it was meant to be. I have never pulled up here. This is the little donation place with no cars here. Like zero cars. I am first in line. It was meant to be. This is, this has literally never happened to me ever. Look at this. I just get to, I drive right up, right on up. Literally took me 30 seconds to do that. <laughs> You guys, we've come before. The last time Jason and I came together, we came on purpose together because he sat in line while I went into McDonald's because not only was his line clear out here to the street, but the McDonald's line was clear out to the street. So I went into McDonald's to order my food and I had eaten half of it by the time Jason pulled back around to pick me back up. <laughs> so, that's why it's so shocking that I just drove right up. I thought January was like the declutter month. I don't know, I just, that was amazing, but it feels so good to get rid of that stuff. I was gonna like get out and like kind of show you the bags and the car and prove that I was getting rid of it, but I didn't have time. I just like had to drive right up and, and uh, get rid of it. So that's amazing. So, yeah, Jason texted me, I gotta find my phone. What did he say? He must not be that busy right now because this is like the fifth text he sent me. Oh, that's so nice. Take Oh, he has to take Saturday off. Duh, I thought he was like doing me a, like a, oh, I want to spend time with you on Saturday. He has to take Saturday off because Ashley is um, cheering for the UW men's basketball team on Saturday. He has to take the day off. Yes, honey, you are taking the day off. I've been working on um, editing and whatever things on my computer. Yeah. Chelsea just got home and I was telling her, um, you know, that she needs to go and walk Daisy. But today, when I went to walk her at noon, right before I left her on my errands, I walked her and I gave her some food and let her go bathroom or whatever. And we were walking that direction and she was on her path. Like that's the path she does, yeah. right, Chelsea? And I'm telling you guys too, so don't I'm assuming that it's... She stopped dead in yeah. her tracks sat down in front of me, looked up at me, and then looked at the looked bus stop. At, no, she then just looked back down the sidewalk, not toward the bus stop. Oh. Not at all. Because Ashley was, and this is like at 12 o'clock. Yeah. Like Ashley's already gone. She's already done her walk with her. And I was like, all right, fine. We'll turn around and go back toward your house. <laughs> so we start walking back and she leads, right? Mm -hmm. She leads with the, her, you know, I just have her on the leash. Too. We, I mean, normally we just cross the street and we go toward her house. And sometimes she wants to walk further and we go up yeah. around the block or whatever. And this time she was sniffing the sidewalk the entire time. <laughs> kind of fine. <laughs> and she literally sniffed up our hill to our backside, where the garages are, went straight to the garage and just sat there. And I was she like, she knows that's our route, like to like. And I was like, do you smell Chelsea and Ashley? And I was like, all right, I'm gonna see what she does with this. So I, she's only come in her house once. Once or twice. Once or twice. She came in with Ashley once for therapy, and I think you guys just brought her in just another time. Not this time. Yeah. Not this time. Ashley didn't bring her in yesterday or today. So I opened the garage door, and again, I just let her lead, right? <laughs> so we go into the house. The house is quiet. She's sniffing the carpet. <laughs> kind of funny. And she's yeah, on absolutely. a path, and she goes up the stairs, and literally she's pulling on the leash. And she goes up the stairs, <laughs> and she it? sits in front of Chelsea and Ashley's door. That is so cute. And she's like, yep, found it. She didn't budge. <laughs> it's like, that is incredible. That they are so smart. She's definitely on the lookout for Chelsea and Ashley. She's like, I don't want anything to do with you. So then I took her into Kaylee and Abby's room because Kaylee and Abby are home. She was like, oh, she, she played with them and then she just went right back to Chelsea and Ashley's room and sat in there. <laughs> she's like, yep, 
I need them here. I, I need them in this room right now. Also, I'm editing this video and it might be too long. I might need to end it here. <laughs> I thought that was very cute. But Chelsea, you do need to go and walk her now because she didn't get enough playtime when I went out. Ooh, we've got like night moody going on over here. I've got a candle lit and my computer. You guys, I'm gonna end this video. I just finished editing up to this point, so I'm ready to close out the video and be done. And I'm also ready to be done on a computer. But you guys are making my day. The amount of people that are hopping onto iMovie and making your own videos out of travel videos that you've got from the past, it's astounding. You guys are amazing. And see, I told you, I told you, Pam, I just, Pamela, I just, I don't know which one you go by, but I just replied back to you. I told you it would be addicting. And I told you guys that you could do it. I, I told you you could do it. It's simple. The techniques come with time and practice for sure. And now that you've kind of practiced with videos that you've already made, I promise you, you're gonna see it differently when you're taking videos in the future. You're just gonna see it different and you're gonna be like, okay, when I'm editing that, it's gonna look better if I do this. I promise you, it's gonna be different. And I'm so excited for you. If you can share me, share with me your videos over on Instagram in a DM, some of you have already done that and I am having a heyday <laughs> watching what you guys are creating it's so rewarding to me to teach someone something, a talent, a thing, something. It started out with this channel teaching you craft projects and it's turned into like creating iMovie movies and I just think it's fantastic. But the joy that I get, feeling the joy from you guys after having learned it is so rewarding to me. It's so rewarding and I'm very proud of all of you that have tried it and I promise you if you have not tried it, give it a try. But I'm gonna close out this video. Honestly, I think that a lot of my motivation to go on this little health journey of mine has come from you guys. So I know you guys say that I give you guys so much in these videos and it helps you during your day. You guys give to me and you give me this motivation. You guys kind of hold me accountable, not in a bad way, but I'm, I, I wanna make you guys in a weird way like proud of me and like today going through my clothes was very it was weird and uncomfortable I'm like I can't believe I wore this and it fit me and it wasn't so baggy but at the same time it's it's also like the hard work is paying off as I can't move my <laughs> my inner thighs but anyway I'm gonna cut to the chase thank you for everything and for being here with me and Going on this journey, we are literally going on this journey together and I love this community that we've created. I, I just love it. Thank you for being a part of it with us and with me. Take care and we'll see you guys next time. Easy.